on line the sight imaging aims at recovering occluded objects in a scene like this, where we have a diffuse wall which we illuminate with a coded source. Existing methods use pulses of light and measure their time-resolved returns scanned on the visible wall area. Here is such a measurement with picosecond time resolution. From it, the hidden object shape and reflectance can be recovered. However, this direct acquisition approach mandates instrumentation with severe practical limitations, including long acquisition times, large setup size, and excessive cost. And you must multiply everything by 3x for color. In this work, we demonstrate that it is possible to achieve the same using a conventional intensity sensor, a beam of continuous collimated white light, and exploiting scene priors. Let us consider a generic object. We illuminate the wall at L. Some light scatters and reaches the object at a point P, where it diffusely scatters, if the object is diffuse, resulting in low frequency blobs, shown here on the right. But the reflectance of the object may also contain a retroreflective part, sending light back to the point L and a specular part with a specular lobe around the mirror direction R. That is the light path from L to the object point, reflected across the normal N. Now for the special case of a planar object, such as the stop sign. The normal and object point can be encoded in only a few degrees of freedom, which we can recover from captures of the faint specular reflections shown here in the bottom right. We recover the planar object with an efficient optimization method. By expressing the object point P as a function of the plane geometry and the visible points L and C, which we measure. Doing so allows us to extract geometry and specular albedo with surprisingly high quality. Here we have the result on a planar painted road sign. And we actually outperform methods with picosecond resolution for the same setup geometry. Interestingly, there is also a specular part present in highly retroreflective signs, as in this diamond grade retroreflective street sign. Now, can we even tackle the more general cases with arbitrary shape and reflectance where we don't necessarily have specular components? To tackle general objects, we learn the previously explicitly encoded scene prior by relying on simulation only. We learn to map a stack of measurements for different light positions to an orthogonal projection of the scene using a modified unit with multi-scale loss. Using efficient rendering, we train our model on large synthetic training datasets. Specifically, we use the MNIST character dataset, ShapeNet, and the SCAPE human dataset for training. While we achieve good results with 5x5 beam sampling, shown here, even a single point light does work to some extent, shown on the right. After training and simulation, we apply the unmodified model to experimental data. We require a high power collimated white light source, which does exist commercially, but the ones available are not easily controllable. We built a lab setup that is very controllable. The system still costs less than $1,000. We combine a green, red, and blue laser and feed them into a 2D Galvo system to scan the scene. Here we show the experimental reconstruction results for the completely diffuse object shown on the right. Here is another example, again, completely diffuse. And yet another example. For the smaller, more complex objects, we only recover rough shape with the chair's sitting area visible in the estimated depth map. For highly specular objects with complex shape, we can recover rough shape and albedo. Although the mannequin is only 15 centimeters in height, we still recover it using the proposed learned reconstruction method.
which provides a strong prior. In summary, we have demonstrated that it is possible to image hidden objects using conventional cameras and continuous illumination.